Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Broken Age. We're probably very close to finishing this game. We may have a rather short recording here. We've got the two spaceships slash mogs crashed into each other. We need to figure out a way to work with our two characters back and forth, kind of, to get away from the wall that is shooting at us, the plague wall. Let's resume and keep on trying. I didn't talk to any of these guys, so I might as well talk Let's to them. Let's go over it one more time. You guys are totally clear that I wasn't kidnapping maidens on purpose, right? Yes, yes, we know, Shay. It's a lot to take in. But I think we get the general picture. We'll give you a pass for now. But when I see my sister again, she better back up your story. <laughs> I kind of wonder about this animation style in general. It, it seems a little weird. Yeah, let's push Gary the Grabber's Gary? button. Come in, Gary. It's grabbing time again. We're outside the gate. Grab something, Gary. What the? Why are we grappling the other ship with our cargo loaders? Who's doing that? Hey, why are these boom arm controls set to manual? Must have been flipped by the incoming fire. What's next? Hmm. Rats. My mom must have set the boom arms back to centralized control. Well, let's see. What am I supposed to do here? I get the feeling they're not impressed by electronics. Do I charge this up? I think Alex would make better use of this radio. Well, let's give this to Alex. How did you get that old thing working? Never mind. Let me have it. I can use it to call the Runa and straighten out this mess once and for all. Hello? Okay. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Hello? Can you hear me? Sorry, but I had to take your friend away. He was needed for an important purpose. That's what they said about my sister. Wow. What a what a It's a robot charging station. At least that's what I used it for. Hmm. Yeah. Let's talk to Alex. Hey, Alex, maybe Bella is trying to overheat the death ray on purpose. What possible purpose could she have in burning us all to death? Well, I'm sure she's doing it for some reason. Why? You've never even met her. Just a hunch, I guess. <laughs> okay. I'm starting to like him. A little. <laughs> so, can I do anything else? We can talk to our dad here. Hey, Dad! Need any help? Well, uh, yeah. If you could get the ship out of this dangerous location, that would help. I was hoping you'd add an easier job for me, but okay. <laughs> Let's see. If I pick this book up, it would disintegrate. Hmm. So do I hit the drum? With the spoon? I don't see anything there. Still sounds drummy. Yeah, that's enough heart music for now. Hmm. I don't understand. What am I trying to do here? Hmm. Oh, he got he talks them down. Wow. They really like you. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. I'd better not leave you here with them. See, notice they have four corners so they can only do four note barks. Hey, what gives? I thought we were friends now. I guess it's just my little hexapel they like, not me. Hmm. I don't want to 
want to change them again? That's the heart plane pattern, I'm pretty sure. So, do I stick them over here and hope they follow? They do follow. Good. Yeah, tickle those strings. He's actually pretty good. I think I'll let him play for a while. So now that we've solved that problem, we can move on into the ship. What's this switch do? This switch is just an old drum mallet. I hope the engine's not just an old tuba. Hmm. What's over here? There. Now the power's back on. I think. Is there anywhere else to go or anything else to do? No? So the power is back on for the death ray. Let's go hit the drum. You can see the power is going back up. Take this drum mallet, use it on the drum. Maybe we'll use it on something else. Hey, that thing's still pretty loud. I don't think they're interested in anything else now that they've met the master. That's not how you play the harp. Hmm. I'll clean up the instruments after I'm done with them. Hmm. Still sounds drummy. So why am I trying to make a loud drum sound? So we got the power to the laser beam. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? It's not big enough to knock him out. If I wanted to do that, I mean. Which <laughs> Grandpa thought about it. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, Alex? Not now, Shay. I need to get through to someone who can get us out of this mess. Well. Yeah. I guess I need to be near the drum for some reason ready to play this feels like a timing puzzle what has she got now she has a wire and a death ray and several places I can't go What have I put you through? It looks like all your little wires got knocked out. Oh, really? You're gonna make okay. me do this puzzle again? Stick with me. I'll make it right. Hmm. That goes there. Hook it to this one. I'll wire this end here. I think that's the right terminal. Hmm. That feels mostly right to me. Hopefully order doesn't matter. Hmm. Well, go around it then. We're under fire. I'd love to catch it. I need it back on manual. Why don't you want our ship grabbing the other ship? Because that ship is about to melt down. If we're attached to it, we'll melt down too. So what? The world would be better off without these moths. <gasps> I'm sure we'd get off okay. But what if it's Shay who's controlling the arms? Shay would never do anything that reckless. If there's one thing I've taught that boy over the years, it's the importance of safety. No. Okay, I'll check back later. Okay. 
It's out of my control. We are going to get paid. Mind if I... Oh, please don't touch those. I control all the ship's systems from here. I just wanted to blow up the ship because that's one of the things you can do there. Oh. No, I don't want to do that. Never mind. What's this blinking red light here? There are no ship shields. We threw the fusion orb out the trash chute. Hmm. So Take that one back. This is red. This one looks good. We can see the color. Right. That's more like Blue. It. Yellow and this red. Here. Ah, there's the old gal I know. And that's a light a light. What would that help with though? There Signaling? is no call for this situation. This is new territory here. Okay? Sick this down, maybe we can clear her off. Really? I am only asking you to steer a few hundred yards left or right just for Really? It's not working. Right. So maybe we need to go back this way. And use this with which thing? Nothing here. Let's go in here and see if this works. I am about to come down there and unplug you. you How about this? Sorry, I'm not looking for an intern right now. The nav swap has been deployed. But I can take manual control of this. Hmm. Not when I'm following the commands of a star chart. That's ridiculous. I don't think. <laughs> Don't touch that. It's very sensitive and ticklish. Like, how ticklish? That information is given out on a need to know basis. Well, who does? The rules were here before either of us. Okay, it's so right. if we go back this way, pick up the harp guy. Look at his yeah, wiring. For figure out the wiring here. So that's here, 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 here. For blue, red, yellow. I think I can figure that out. Yeah, tickle those strings. You See, tickle those them. strings. I think I'll let him play for a while. So, program this one now. We'll go around it then. No, not there. Blue, red, well, not red, put that yellow, and then okay. red. We are going to get blown to that should work. Again, information Vela has no reason she would know. Even if they came back and said there was some kind of psychic link between these two people, that would just be ridiculous. Uh, a ridiculous solution that had no reason for being written. This is just silly. Good job, little girl. You keep them both occupied for a while, okay? So that keeps them both busy. That means I can now. Oh, Bella, watch my controls for a bit, would you? Our navigation bot seems to be malfunctioning. I shouldn't be gone too long. Hmm. So now we can go to this direction. And we can. Honestly, I think the only thing we're going to do is switch to manual Let's control. This is a self-destruct button. 
This is manual control. And I think we're in range, but nothing's happening. Must be getting interference from the outer hull. We need to find a clearer shot. So I need to run back up to the top here. Grabbing time again. So we grab this. Good work, Gary. It's an honor to be grabbed by such a professional. Hello? So now. Hey, why are these boom arm controls set to manual? Who's doing that? Okay, so I can't leave this room. And doing this. Isn't right. I need to now reprogram the hard player over here to do the swinging arm motion that the other guy was doing with the light, but I'll give him the hammer instead. So that means it was, I believe, something along the lines of this. That's all my wire. Now I'm out of wire. Let's see. At least now I have a weapon. Put this guy down. He's not programmed right. You'll never guess what was wrong with the nav system. What? Malfunctioning safety valve. Had to rewire the thing and return it to its post. Oh, so now we can go wherever we want? What? No, no, now we're right back where we started. But we don't have to listen to that maddening giggle anymore. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Saboteur. Let's try that again. What do you say, kid? What's his programmed right now? It's yellow this way, blue, red. Alright. That's a flashlight radio safety pattern. So we need to switch. over here and program this one yellow nope that would be blue and then yellow it's on my wire yeah that's the way you play the drums but that tiny hmm. little hand of yours doesn't make much noise does it so now we put these two together. Hey, I bet you'd look cute holding this. And we put you there. Now we're talking. Hey, what's going on down here? Put those things down and be quiet, please. I'm trying to talk to the rune upstairs and I can't even hear myself. Now put that down. <laughs> Alright, so that'll keep Alex busy. So now Shay is in the right place, and we switch to Vela, and Vela needs to run this way, and I've got to reprogram this robot once again to tickle. So now I gotta reprogram it again. Why did the game 
I mean, that's just ridiculous that the game would. Shouldn't be connected. Now those two are connected to here. And this terminal goes. Is that right? Hmm. This isn't doing much. I mean, no, no reason whatsoever that you'd have to start over and do it again. Let's try. Is that right? Here we go. Here we go this way. Did you see another malfunctioning safety robot while you were in there? It, never mind. I'll get it. Excuse me, Bella. Hmm. So let's hurry now. I imagine we've got the solution down. Push this button to manual control and walk this way and walk this way. Now, of course, kind of in point and click adventure fashion, we're about to just blow up both the ships and kill everybody with no real thought of consequence. Uh, one would assume that's what's about to happen. Grab it, get real close, switch to Vela. It's an honor to be grabbed by such a professional. And fire. Here we go. Nope. Oh, I don't think we should touch the young man's things, dear. It's too late. The meltdown has started. Everybody out. <laughs> General panic pandemonium. I would not subtitle it the that. <laughs> That's more general panic and pandemonium. Over here. You have to jump. So here's gonna be the triumph of actual meeting of these two characters for the okay. first time in the game. Strangling her? I thought you were a faker. Yeah, I can do that too. <laughs> And jump. I don't think he's gonna make it. That's a pretty far jump. That's like four or five links of his body. I'm surprised he made it that far. Gary the Grabber. Saving the day. Gary? Gary! No! Gary, get out of there! Gary! What? Oh, 
dumb. It's it's really dumb. It's jokingly dramatic. You can't do both. Either be dramatic or be joking. And and compared to Sam and Max, I mean, you've literally this isn't funny enough at all. No way. And here we have one group and the other group and the bridge in between them. And they finally meet. So what? Why? They ha have no relationship to each other at all. Hmm. And that's the end of the game. So for my parents, uh, Gwen Hope and Ray Schaefer, a Double Fine production written and directed by Tim Schaefer. Okay, so here's the problem, and this is my fear, and I think it was pretty well proven here. Tim Schafer used to make point-and-click adventure games. He's just too old. He's too out of it. He's in charge of Double Fine. He's a manager now. And the writing and directing here was awful. This game felt like it was only an experiment in Kickstarter and what you could get away with. How bad of a game can you make for Kickstarter and how many designs can you release for Kickstarter? It might be an age thing too. Maybe only good video game creators have good ideas in a certain time in their age and after they've been in the industry for long enough uh, they get a little burned out on new ideas and Re new thoughts. Point Click Adventure is very rebellious. This didn't feel rebellious. Here you see he's president and CEO Tim Schafer. Uh, COO Justin Bailey. I don't think that's a joke. I think it is actually a person named Justin Bailey uh, instead of a Metroid reference. Starring Elijah Wood as Shay. Harmony was Jack Black. Curtis was Will Wheaton. Mom was Jennifer Hale. Gus Pendleton Ward. Some of those names, very, very recognizable. Very, very recognizable to me, and I, I don't even really follow actors and actresses that much. Uh, they wasted l probably ridiculous amounts of money paying those voice actors for a game that's not that good. It's... Mm, let's see. Uh, the voice casting directing Chris Brown was that that was one I don't think he did a good job I don't think the puzzles were good I don't think the music was particularly good this was actually an awful point-and-click adventure game now I want to touch on something I have touched on too the story is bad but it also feels very much like it's trying to be this woman empowerment story that it is a topic that they don't deserve to touch. You can cover that topic if you can make a great game or a great story if you're writing a, a story or a great movie if you're writing a movie. But if you make a piece of junk game and then you try to put on some very important message on there you're going to fail miserably and that's what I feel like they've done uh, it doesn't help the the game at all the whole maiden feast stuff the whole woman empowerment she Vela is way more empowered throughout the game than Shay is which is bad game making because every single protagonist in a video game and usually you should only have one needs to be more empowered by the end of the game it's that's not a gender thing that's a video game thing you start off weak you end out you end overpowered uh shay started off weak and bored and he was pretty much still mostly weak by the end nowhere as overpowered as shay uh 
as Valois, man, I'm getting the names wrong, is the annual bridge crossing festival. Uh, picture here, so they're saying that the two species connected uh, and reintegrated. Not that anyone really cares about this world. There was no, not enough world building here at all. Uh, look, he knitted uh, his first uh, shirt himself to show his mom. That's kind of cute. I mean, I could see that as being a nice thing, but man, I am so mad at this game. I'm so mad at how long this game is and how bad every single puzzle is, how much dialogue you have to just trudge through. The achievement system, just to touch it, tries to get you to play this game at least a couple times. There's an achievement for doing this game in less than an hour. I don't see how you do that. I don't even know how you do that if you knew every single exact step to take because it seems like it would still be more than an hour. This game came out in a weird point for Double Fine and I do like some of their games uh, but this was an attempt for them to get back to the point click ad uh, adventure roots and I think after this they pretty much uh, decided no not to do that. Here's all the Kickstarter backers who had to pay for the game and then get the first half and then wait several months and then get the second half and who knows how many of them felt satisfied by that. Uh, I like some of Devil Fine's games though so that's not the issue. The issue is just they didn't have the right writer in of the story. It's sad, but you might make the argument Tim Schafer single-handedly ruined this game by writing it himself. Uh, that's just ridiculous. Now, I think Tim Schafer wrote Full Throttle, too. Yeah, I may be wrong about that. Let me know in the comments if I am. And th that's like a drastically different point-and-click adventure game. Full Throttle, you're a big, tough biker guy and there's action and there's uh, and there's uh, a lot more of a sci-fi kind of story to it a mystery to it uh, I think he also had a hand in Day of the Tentacle which was way more funny and they just re-released Day of the Tentacle and I'm sure that I plan on playing it with the new remaster and having a lot of fun with that. It's just, he used to be able to make good point-and-click adventure games. He just can't now. He's probably too busy running a company. Uh, Double Fine did experiment right here, and they did experiment a few years earlier in which they let people just make different types of games. It got us things like Costume Quest. It got us things like Stacking. Uh, so there is a connection there and I it got us Brutal Legend and Brutal Legend is a great story it's a terrible gameplay uh, they seem to wildly swing back and forth man we are still on backers look at all these people that back I think also if you're gonna back something they they need to take your real name I this whole thing where you you back something and it's just like Put my my nickname here. It's it's unprofessional in a way. If you are an actual investor in a company, you can't have your nickname on your stock certificates. If you were actually issued stock certificates instead of that all being done digitally, which I think it is now. But I mean, you have to have your real legal name on there, and I think over the decades that's what you would want uh, even if you were a very young kid and you wanted your nickname I think by the time you were 10 years later 30 years later here's one FR33K yeah anybody could claim they were that person anybody could claim they were that pack that backer and it would be impossible to prove it at least if you have somebody's name you can you can say well that's my name and I really did back it uh, I'm sure that there's emails and receipts for Kickstarter, but it also makes the credits look super unprofessional when you just have 
all this ridiculous stuff. Uh, that's why they have the Alan Smithian movie making. If you want your name taken off as a writer in a movie, you can just say, I'm going to write this under the subtitle, the secret name Alan Smithy. And so there is no real Alan Smithy. It is simply just a industry used by many, many writers who say, ah, this movie has gotten so bad that I don't want my name attached to it. And they've, I think, even recently limited the the incidences in which you can do that. So there, there aren't a ton of movies made by quote-unquote Alan Smithy. Uh, I really didn't like enjoy this journey. And I love point-click adventure games. Uh, I really do. And it's not that I was burnt out on them either. I haven't played uh, a game in probably a month of point-and-click adventure style. So plenty of time to recover since the last one I played, which I believe was Sam and Max. And we played Sam and Max for three seasons, and that was really, really long. That was like three months of just playing Sam and Max with some other point-and-click adventure games in between. And yet... This 10-hour game feels so much worse. Uh, certainly, the, almost every point-and-click adventure games have problems. Uh, it's questionable whether you can ever fix them to make them an interesting and fun mechanic for everyone uh, because there is a lot of sp speech interaction always. There is a lot of trying different combinations of items always. That's the only real gameplay mechanics you can have, unless they throw in some puzzles. And yeah, I think there were some puzzles, but they they weren't that good either. Uh, you can very much still make good point-click adventure games. Uh, we just call covered Deponia, that that entire series. Well, not all of that series, since they've now released a, another uh, expansion to that that I'll get around to eventually. But that was made by a German company, and it's very recent, and it's fine. There's plenty of other people that can do it, but you have to start with a good story. You can't just say, I want to do something women empowerment, and then so superficially write a story on top of that. Or I want to do something that's sci-fi and so superficially write a story on top of that. Or I want to do something that's fantasy with talking trees and, and birds, the people and birds living in the sky together, and so superficially makes it. Th this game is really a grab bag of things. Man, all of these backers. All of this because it was double fine. Uh, if this was proposed on Kickstarter by somebody who wasn't Tim Schafer and double fine, the number of the 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 number of backers would have been significantly less. And as we're seeing this list of people who probably had to donate at least a dollar, I don't know what the minimum was to get your name listed, uh, but I bet the minimum on Kickstarter is a dollar. Uh, uh, but a lot of people, I'm sure, paid a lot more. And now Double Fine is one of the board mem members of a company called Fig, which is like Kickstarter, except for now, more of the money goes straight to the developers, and you can invest over $10,000 if you're an accredited investor, which is a, like, FTC requirement where you can prove that you are so rich that you actually have enough money to lose if you invest in making a video game, because... You almost certainly will lose that money investing in a video game because how many video games secretly get made and then thrown in the trash and never mentioned. It happens all the time in the video game industries. That's why Kickstarter in general is a bad idea because video games need to be made in secret like any art form. It doesn't really help to say I'm making this great video game and then 10 years down the line you're still working on it uh, you, it's much better to have it done and announce it. and it's coming out tomorrow and it will be for sale tomorrow get that 
The rest of the backers and slackers that made this happen, thanks for playing. Wow. Super, super long credits because of the Kickstarter backers getting listed. Actually, rather short credits for people that actually worked on the game. So, no explanation on Broken Age, the name. Really, really not happy with this one. Anywho, that's going to be it for this series. We'll move on to the next one. Hopefully we do better. Uh, as always, I ask you to like. I ask you to share. I ask you to comment if you want to. Let me know if I was totally off or if there was something I missed here. Or, I don't know. I mean, I play a lot of point-click adventures. I don't know what I could be missing here that would make people think this was a great game. Uh, I will say the artistic style is unique, but I kind of didn't like it. But I'm willing to to live with some some artistic styles I kind of don't like for the more uniqueness, because we see so many video games that are animated the same way. So different art styles. I'm willing to let that slide and not even bother talking about it. Uh, comment if you want to, of course, let me know what you've thought about Broken Age. And watch every second of my videos because that helps me out. If you want to support me further, you can click on my name, Rido. That'll take you to my main YouTube page. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. Making a donation is not like Kickstarter because I am not promising to do anything with that money. It is simply you are supporting me for whatever reason you choose and it would be very much appreciated and very helpful but I'm not making a video game and I have no plans to make a video game uh, and even if I was making a video game like I said I'd be doing it in secret but I'm not uh, also on my main YouTube page there's a playlist tab you can click that and see a playlist for every other game I've played a lot of other point and click adventure games I'd say almost every point and click adventure game I've played up to this one has been better uh, they've all had their own issues but they, I would say they're all better than this uh, lots of playlists for things that aren't point and click adventure games so check those out too and then down below are all the links in the description box for Twitter, Facebook, Google+, Steam, Tumblr, Battle.net. So friend and follow me on all of those. That helps me with those services and it helps you know when my latest videos come out. Unless you friend me on Battle.net or Steam, which then there is no newsfeed for those. That just friends list, which I want more friends on Battle.net and Steam. That helps me in different ways. Thank you for watching through this series. It's been a long one, way too long. If this was like a five hour game, I'd have half, half as many complaints, literally. If they just kept it short and sweet, that would probably help. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Have a good evening.